Good morning and welcome to Mama Sue's Southern Kitchen. Today I thought I would make some homemade pimento cheese and uh, we always usually have a sandwich or something like that for lunch and this would be so much better if I had made it yesterday for today but it'll still be delicious. This is a simple recipe. It calls for a block, an eight ounce block of extra sharp cheddar cheese, an eight ounce block of pepper jack cheese, and the, it, you can buy the grated cheese if you would like, but I'm gonna tell you, it is so much better if you grate your own cheese. I, I don't know what the difference is if they put something in the cheese that's already grated. And I'm not gonna say that I never use it because I do. I use that. And um, it's just so much better though. And it's not any more expensive. It may be a little bit cheaper. Let me go ahead and pour this in my bowl. While I'm grating this, I, I want to tell you that <clears throat> every day I get several messages wanting to know how I, or how you can order a cookbook. I have already placed my order and I did add some extras, but I'm not going to take any money or any I'm not gonna give you directions until I have the cookbook in my hand. They assured me that I should have it by the last week of, all, of September. I'm excited, I, I really think that um, it's going to be great. It turned out to be more pages when I submitted it, then I had thought, it's costing me a little bit more money than I had planned, but anyway, I'm excited to get it back and, and see it, but on the day that I get it in my hands, I'm going to do a story, and I'll also make a post that tells you exactly how to order. And I will fill those in the order I get them. So you just be watching and I should have an idea when they're gonna be shipped. And that way I'll let you know the day that they should come in. So I want you to just hold on and watch and I appreciate more than you know the interest in this. All right. I'm about finished. Now that is <clears throat> pepper jack cheese and extra sharp cheese. I'll do a little bit more and I'm not going to uh, cut my fingers though. After I finish showing you how it's made, I'll probably um, just eat those little pieces. But the recipe, when you get those grated, my recipe calls for a small jar of pimentas and you do not drain it. Now this is not the smallest jar, but this is the jar that I have. So I'm just gonna put it in there. It calls for a teaspoon of Lowry's seasoned salt. So, I'm gonna add the teaspoon of the seasoned salt and a cup of mayonnaise. That's your choice. Now, I will tell you, if you make this the day before, it'll taste really, really good. But when you get it out of the refrigerator the next day, if by some chance it looks dry to you, 
add a little bit more mayonnaise. Just a little more mayonnaise. And something about the sharp cheese and the pepper jack cheese together with this seasoned salt. Oh my goodness. It is very, very good. <clears throat> See how creamy that looks? That will be good in a sandwich. It'll be good with some crackers. And at night, sometimes I'll go to bed and read or look through my page and try to answer the messages that I have. And I'll hear Harold rattling some papers. He thinks he's, he's slipping some food, but he's either getting him a, some crackers and that cucumber spread or Tonight, it's probably gonna be crackers and pimento cheese. This is easy. It's it, The recipe is in my cookbook, but later we'll have it on the, on the page. And y'all, I do wanna tell you, I'm the one that made the mistake last night. I don't know why I put self-rising flour. We never use flour in cornbread. But thank you to those that caught it and it was corrected. Y'all, I hope that you just have a great midweek day. You know, there's a lot of sadness right now. My friend Regina did get healed, but she got healed by going to heaven. And her visitation is tonight and the funeral's tomorrow. COVID's a bad thing for those that have had problems of some kind and, and Regina had asthma. But she fought a good fight, and she is with her Lord today. And I have to be thankful for that, and I know I'll see her again one day. But Jesus did not tell us we wouldn't have trouble. He said, in this world, you will have trouble. But be of good cheer. He said he'll always be with us, and he is. He is with us in everything we walk through. Y'all go out today, be salt, be light in this dark world because Jesus loves you and people need to see him in you. I'll see you later.